I transformed this vanilla Minecraft village into this giant castle which will protect the villagers inside and also be a place for me to live since I'm, uh, I'm homeless. So why don't you subscribe to help a guy out, you know? Just a thought. Now to transform a village, first you need said village. And it doesn't take much to see that there are none around here. And if you think I'm going to start searching the world for a village, <coughs> Yeah, you'd be very wrong. Like, come on, work hard, not smart. Wait, and here it is. This sure was a lot of work. Yes, this is it. This is definitely the one we want to transform. Hmm, might as well loot the village while we're here, right? What kind of a house position is this? It's literally on top of a lava lake. What? Right, now all we need to do is collect all the materials to build this thing. Might as well start off with wood. All right, <laughs> let's get the stone. And now for deep slate. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of this as well. Let me steal you real quick. Well, that was pointless. Right, let's get some andesite. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more of you, but you don't want to see it all. Well, maybe you do. And with the help of Lightmatica, we have the exact amount of materials ready to start building. Ah, uh, well, almost. Right, let's start on the inner wall of this. Thanks to like Matico as always. Don't know what I could do without you. As with all the texture on this, placing each block from like a reference image or something would be, well, quite time consuming to say the least. I'm talking about time consuming, this corner is a real pain. Like I can't see where I'm placing these. Right, back to collecting more of this stone. We need so much of it for this. And now to place it all down, at least it's pretty easy. Almost as easy as pressing the like button, which you should do right now. I'll, I'll give you five seconds while I put a sweater on, because I'm about to freeze to death in here. These bits are always the hardest, like, there's just a fake floor here, like, why? I guess we just make a platform. There you go, this works, kinda. Just placing more blocks, not that much to say, really. You know, the weather's pants, as usual. Time to start on the outside layer of the wall now, which is just slightly bigger and uses even more materials than the first one. And let me just get over here. There you go. This is really tricky. I don't even have any of the wood on me, so I'm just gonna. Oh, there you go. I'm hungry. I can eat it. It wants to do it anyway. Okay, this side is much, much easier. Let's go. We can do all this. And this. Look at the progress. All these plants are in the way. Okay, I'm trying to do it without Lightmatica here, and um, there's a reason why I use it. This is impossible. But getting back to work, you can see we're now working on the wooden parts of the build. Look at it. Looking rather nice. But it does use up a lot of wood. I think we need a bit more. Now, spruce wood is probably the most used block in this build. We're going to need about 50 stacks of just the normal spruce planks, and we need stairs, slabs, fences, and even trap doors. Is that an invisible spider? It is. There you go, that should do it. Now don't ask why lecterns are integrated into this build, I don't know what I was doing. Like they are so expensive to make, it's such a pain. Just finishing off this little roof part here. Now to build the second one of our little turrets right here. Now although you can't see much, I promise I'm actually doing a lot of work here. It's just like within the walls, so you can't really see it. Oh, ow. Yep, this is what I mean, within the walls, look at this. But progress is being made slightly. Yeah, this is just not really satisfying to watch, is it? Not much happening. A few blocks being placed down here and there. Yeah, kind of boring. This is definitely not the strategy for this, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay, this one's a little better. Look at this. All the roofs getting done. Some of the turrets. Yes, this is what we like to see. Also, we're using cobble deep slate, not normal deep slate, which I wish I knew before I started mining it, so I didn't get like an inventory full of just normal deep slate. I think we need about 50 stacks of cobble deep slate, so we are working away here, getting as much as we can. The pickaxe is almost broken again. I think we're going to need to repair it for like the fourth time. Like this is like the last bit of the roof, I think. And a bit more over here with these trapdoors and stuff. But we're almost there. Just finishing off the top of this turret. Oh, there's a missing block right there. Like Matica, you're almost perfect, but not quite. Now, if you hadn't noticed already, which I hadn't at the time, there's quite a big hole underneath that side of the castle. And I didn't really see it when I was designing it. So we're just going to fill it in and pretend it was never there. Well, look at this amazing content. Placing dirt. This is why you should subscribe to my channel, you know? Dirt placing content every week. Apart from the fact it's like every month, because I can't be bothered to make videos. Right, let's make some like sticky uppy bits on these turrets. I don't know what they're called. But you know, the bits where you can like shoot stuff from and that. Yeah, yeah, ow. And we have a flawless technique for doing so. Look at this, doing every single turret. And for the final one, here we go. And now to fill in the floor, because at the moment it's not very useful. Speed bridge. And look, this is the castle being built from scratch. Look at this, this is basically ASMR with building. Like, wow, take it in, I might need to pause it right here. Oof. And look at it, I think it's done. 
Also, did you notice I turned my shaders on? Just to make it look a little bit cooler, because it's kind of boring. But look at this. Isn't this village looking safe? I'm sure the villagers are feeling safe and sound in here. Now we've just built a massive out. And this is what it looks like from the front, or back, or side. I don't really know, to be honest. But there you go. We have enclosed this vanilla Minecraft village with what I would say is quite a nice little castle. Now, there's only one thing missing from this. Um, <clears throat> villagers. Uh, they all died. Yeah. We have a village, but with no villagers. So what we've really done is just built a ghost town, to be honest. Oh, I didn't even realise. It's kind of fitting. It's Halloween. No ghost town. Yeah, that was definitely on purpose. That, definitely, that was definitely meant to happen. The villagers were killed purposefully, and they didn't just die. Oh, I'm going to go to bed.